MIDI Merge Mode is a MIDI recording workflow in Pro Tools that allows us to add layers of MIDI data to an existing clip without overriding any existing data. When using a MIDI controller to record MIDI parts, MIDI Merge Mode can be extremely helpful for quickly sketching out parts, particularly for MIDI drums. To set up your session for MIDI Merge Recording, you will want to engage three separate options in Pro Tools. MIDI Merge, Input Quantize, and Loop Playback. So let's start with MIDI Merge. The MIDI Merge button can be found in the Transport window. To open the Transport window, navigate to Window, Transport. Or using the numeric keypad, input the keyboard shortcut Command-1 if you're on Mac, or Control-1 if you're on Windows. So we need to make sure the MIDI controls are toggled on within the transport window. To do this, click on the drop-down arrow on the right side of the transport window. Then check the box next to MIDI controls. This will give us access to the MIDI merge button. Within the MIDI controls section of the transport window, you will see four separate buttons that can be toggled on or off. The MIDI Merge button is located in between the Metronome button and the Conductor Track button. Click the MIDI Merge button to toggle it on or off. When it is blue, this means MIDI Merge is toggled on. Next, I'm going to turn on Input Quantize. Engaging Input Quantize is an optional step in this process, but it can be really helpful when used in conjunction with MIDI Merge Mode, especially when recording drums. Since you will be recording MIDI data one pass at a time, having input quantize turned on will ensure that your MIDI data will play back in perfect time. This will help keep your performance of subsequent takes in time as well. To turn on input quantize, navigate to Event, Event Operations, Input Quantize. This will open the Event Operations window. Under the What to Quantize section, check the box next to Enable Input Quantize and Note On. Under the Quantize Grid section, choose the rhythmic value you would like to use as your quantization value. I'm going to keep mine as 16th notes. You can configure any other quantization parameters as desired. Close the Event Operations window when you are satisfied with your configurations. Now, I'm going to turn on Loop Playback. Loop Playback will allow us to record subsequent takes over a timeline selection without needing to constantly click Stop and Play in the Transport window. Pro Tools will continuously loop the selection where we want to record, allowing us to input MIDI data as desired. An important thing to note here, we use Loop Playback for MIDI merge workflows rather than Loop Record. Loop Record is incompatible with MIDI Merge, so if your transport is set to Loop Record mode, as shown here, you just want to toggle it off first. So right click on the Record button and click Normal. To turn on Loop Playback, navigate to Options, Loop Playback. Or you can right click on the Play button in the Transport window and select it from here. When loop playback is toggled on, the play button will have this green circular arrow around the play icon. OK, with each of these options turned on, we're now ready to record MIDI data using the MIDI merge workflow. To begin recording MIDI data, make a timeline selection on the instrument track you want to record. This will designate the area that will be looped. Next, record enable your instrument track. Now, within the transport window, click record enable, and then click play. After you start recording, a MIDI clip will be created within the boundaries of your selection. If you don't play anything, the MIDI clip will remain on your track playlist, but it will be empty. OK, now I'm going to start recording one part at a time, adding elements on subsequent loops. 
What you'll notice is that no MIDI data is going to be overwritten in this process. It will only be added or merged to the current data. Just click stop when you are done recording. And there you go. Now I have a drum part recorded just by recording one part at a time. So even though MIDI merge is most often used while recording drum parts, it can be used for any type of MIDI compatible instrument, increasing your creative possibilities. For example, if you want to record a piano part, but you don't feel confident playing both hands at the same time, you could record the left hand part first then record the right hand part on a subsequent loop. The resulting MIDI clip would contain both the right hand and left hand performance as if they were recorded together. So I'm going to go through that exact same process, but now on a piano virtual instrument. <laughs> 